Johnson. Hello. Mrs. Johnson. Nice to see you again. Very nice nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you so much for coming. Welcome to Brook Army Medical Center. Thank you. I thought we could go get some coffee and water and talk for a few minutes. Sounds wonderful. Great. Wonderful. So have you had a chance to see our brand new dining facility? No, I'm really excited to see it. I heard it's the place to be. Excellent. Very Very exciting. Thank Thank you. Well, thank you again for coming. We're really glad you could sit and talk with us for a few minutes. Yeah, our pleasure. Wonderful. We just wanted to ask you a few questions and get to know both of you a little bit better. Sure. So to start, um, sir, this is for you. How did you feel when you found out you were going to become the next commander of Brook Army Medical Center? Well, it, to me, it's kind of funny because uh, I was in Korea at the time and uh, in an office where people were always playing jokes on each other. So at first, I was shocked when I got the email and the uh, voicemail. Then I thought there was some kind of prank that they were playing. So I had to go back in and try to figure out, okay, is there anything that looks funny here? Uh, But then reality set in and this sense of pride and humility uh, overwhelmed me to understand that I was gonna have an opportunity to work with an organization like Brook Army Medical Center and to be able to be involved in a leadership role of leading the best of the best. So it was, it was an incredible experience. So Mrs. Johnson, how did you feel when you heard you were coming to San Antonio to live? Well, not too far from how my husband felt. I was home visiting for the holidays with the intention of going back to Korea for two years. So I packed for the holidays and for a short trip. And I don't think I was there for very long when he called and said, you're not coming back. So it was a very interesting transition to think I don't get to say goodbye, I don't get to see the people that we were serving with, but the excitement, I think, set in quickly, very humbled by the opportunities that God gives us in realizing that it was going to be San Antonio and Bamsey was another level of excitement. We're very excited to be a part of this story. So, sir, after um, kind of walking around and meeting some people, we wanted to know what was your first impression of the team here at Brook Army Medical Center? Well, I think first impressions uh, always start with uh, what you see from the outside and coming up and seeing uh, Brook Army Medical Center from the outside is just amazing. It, it immediately puts me to a place of thinking about a place like John Hopkins or Mayo, except this place is even better. Once I moved in, I've, I've only been in the facility a few times, but I've been amazed at how I've wandered around um, and I must have this giant uh, sign on me that says I'm lost because people come up to me and say, how can I help you find whatever it is that you're looking for? And I expected that from certain members of the, of the staff, but what I saw was everybody from a housekeeper to somebody who's wearing scrubs and in a lab coat doing the same thing. It really defined for me that there's not a sense of elitism here, but that this is a place where people feel comfortable. Uh, They wrap their arms around the mission, they wrap their arms around the people, and support everybody all along the way. What, What an amazing place to be in. What do you plan to focus on during your time here in command? Yeah, I think um, there's really three pillars that I'm trying to um, ensure that everybody stays focused on. It really has to do with uh, quality, it has to do with readiness, and it has to do with empowerment. Uh, To me, the the primary piece is readiness, and there's no better place than BAMSI to trace readiness back to what our soldiers do and what our staff is expected to do should they be called to go to the battlefield and to support our nation that way. But I think there's even more to it than readiness of our staff and the soldiers. There's also the readiness of our family members and retirees. So are they ready to meet life's challenges in the, in the boardroom, in the classroom, in the living room, uh, or in whatever their journey is uh, in the latter part of their life? So us being able to ensure that they're ready to be able to participate however they want to, to me is absolutely exciting. This is Johnson. We're wondering if you could tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, again, unlike my husband, I am an extrovert, so I don't have any problem telling you what I like. I grew up in New Hampshire, so I don't think I'm far from what Jeffrey likes for the outdoors and for the beauty of what God created for us. I'm a mom, and my favorite job, other than being my husband's wife, would be being a grandmother. We have nine grandchildren. I love the interaction with people. People energize me. 
another reason I'm very excited about San Antonio. There's just such rich history, so much to share, so much to learn, and I'm just still in awe. I'm in awe that we're here. This is a magnificent facility and the people already have been tremendous. Sir, we uh, definitely want to get to know you a little bit better, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, that's, uh, it's always a little dangerous when you ask an introvert to talk about themselves, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, I grew up in northwest Montana. Um, absolutely love the outdoors, uh, love the pace that uh, you tend to see in the west. So really excited about being here in San Antonio uh, to get into that pace as opposed to a, a pace maybe in D.C. Um, but I would also say that uh, not only do I love the outdoors, but I, I love what I do as a profession. I, I love having an opportunity to be able to serve, and I can be very focused um, in making sure that we execute our responsibilities that way. So welcome again to San Antonio, home of the Spurs, which who everybody likes. <laughs> Not sure of your sports preference. We'll work it out. <laughs> so, um, so much to do here, but I was wondering, what do you like to do in your free time? Yeah, I think uh, for me, uh, I really love to do things that I can instantly see results of what I do. So things like landscaping, uh, I love uh, tropical fish, um, as well as uh, fishing. Um, and uh, I really like to be able to have a chance to be able to work with dogs as well and uh, trying to train them um, and get them to a place where they're comfortable in lots of different situations. And I enjoy anything outside. I think the highlight of the end of the day is taking that last walk, the magnificent views that we have on post, and just realizing that we're going to be here for a few years. There's so much to explore. Again, the history-rich part of it, and just the people, and the people that we meet on those simple walks every day and exploring someplace different. I, I really enjoy that. That just caps off a perfect day for me. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk and yeah. we really enjoyed getting to know you a little bit better. Was there anything else you wanted to add or? No, just uh, really feel blessed to have an opportunity to be able to join the team here at Brook Army Medical Center and to be a, a part of what they're already doing and to be a part of what that looks like going forward.